so I'm online and I'm checking out um, just stuff on uh, black women. I ended up finding an interesting uh, article on black voices at um, Huff Huffington Post uh, dot com, and it's called "The Six Ways to Stop Being an Angry Black Woman." I find this kind of interesting because I'm not I'm not really intimidated by black women. It's just that. I kind of don't like it when they get to be, you know, you ever, you ever just walk by a black woman and it's like she's just mean mugging, she's just not smiling, not happy, but yet when you're, you know, when you're a black man and like myself, I always get kind of outed on of, why are you so angry, why are you so uptight, loosen up, smile a little bit or something. It's like it's funny how we have this kind of this even shouldn't even be a, a topic, but it's just so weird to where you know black men's frustration is is looked down upon as just being stupid, immature, and then black women struggle or like you know like way above men. It's like it's way uh, like you know. Is way up there to where it's more important, more kind of. And I'm, I'm not into comparing struggles, but my thing with black feminists, um, with, with the whole street harassment thing, about um, I'll give you the link, but there's like this black girl. She goes on this little rant. She starts these little movements of stop telling black women to smile. Because it's like offensive, and you know, we and the thing is, they take it to this weird offense to where it's like, oh, you're telling us to smile because you're a man and we're supposed to appease you. No, we just smile because, like, you know, you don't have to be angry all the time, you don't have to worry about everything else because that's what black women tell me, they tell other men like myself. Oh, why are you so uptight about racial issues? Why are you so uptight about this? Smile, relax. They tell us that, but when we tell them to smile and relax, it's like, you know, these feminists bring out the uh, these little historical. I, there was this video of like drunk historical black women like Harriet Tubman and how they don't smile and that their um, struggles still weigh upon black women of today. And it's like it's, it's it's deep, but then again, it's not really deep because a lot of black women today are not that pro black to where they think and they un they think or they they think about the struggles from the past, especially from slavery that long. They're, black women are not that pro black. They can talk about how much they're queens and this. I had this um this friend. She was saying that, um, oh, we're all queens and all that stuff. And I was like, can you name me an African queen? And she couldn't even really think of any. Not saying that she's not a person or she's not anyone of any importance. She's my friend. But the thing is that, you know, black women act like they're so super pro-black, but... And she went on this run of like we hold it down and we do this and that, but yet I almost sound like Willie Pete after this. But you know, nothing really is getting constructed or nothing is being tangibly made. So I don't know what you're holding down. But you know, the point is that you, um, I kind of hate this fake pro-black approach that black feminists tend to use you know I don't see a lot of black women who are like Dr. Umar Johnson or, or, or like unapologetically African or whatever they claim to be you know you have your Sherazad Ali and a couple others but you know they're kind of on a small minority, and when they're in the forecast on the news, they're not really respected, even from other black women. But um, let me get into this article on the six ways not to be a uh, 
angry black woman. So, um, it, the first uh, thesis um, paragraph says, Are you tired of being an angry black woman? So am I. It seems like whenever I express or defend myself, society perceives me as intimidating or angry. Thanks to a recent New, New York Times article, I learned what makes a black woman appear angry. I may have to read that later. Um, all this time, I thought I was just being a regular person with regular emotions. Turns out black women are to be extra cautious of our behave, actions and behaviors. Check out the six, six easy ways to become an angry black woman. I'm just going to read uh, the bold print and just kind of uh, take, uh, do my take on it. Number six says, always smile. True. You know, you tell us, you tell guys like me to uh, to live, you know, live light, get out, stop being stress-free and all this stuff. But do that once you be stress-free and you stop acting like your struggles are way more above mine. And that's what I kind of get tired of black women trying to shut down black men's struggle as if it's easy and something childish but um number five says shut up uh, I, I, hmm. this goes on to the stereotype of like black women just talk too much and they put a lot of their input I never really argued with a black woman, surprisingly, but, um, you know, what I see on TV and what I see outside in my community, I, yeah, I do kind of see kind of the, the black woman just talking so much to, uh, prove a point that she's right because she has a lot of things to talk about. Number four says be passive. Okay, they're just talking about learning courtesy and, you know, living a little easier and lighter. Okay, uh, number three says, have no reaction to it, some, to anything. So basically, I, I don't really like this one. It says, I have no reaction to anything. So what if someone insulted you? What if someone made a racial or sexual incentive remark towards you? So what if your man cheated on you? So these are all like uh, rhetorical questions. They probably didn't even mean it in that way. No need to get all uh, um with the sexist stuff. You know, I just you know take it. Oh wait, I you know I just kind of saw something a little weird. I um. On the corner, on the right-hand corner, it says 100 rare and unusual baby names. And look at that. They have a uh, cute little black baby as the, um, the picture for it. I'll check that out later. But um, back to but the thing about racial remarks is that nowadays you can't go light on it because we don't live in this post-racial society and a lot of the brutalities on us are you know, or, you know, it's really getting out of hand, and, you know, I, I don't want black women to take racism lightly, like, okay, this white guy called me an N, I'm gonna take the higher road and walk away and not think nothing of it. Now, at certain times, you know, you may have to, your, your hands are kind of tied, but I don't want black women just being null to racism. That's really all I have to say. Um, Number two says, always be aware you are black. And yeah, okay, this, this is one I can actually agree on. It kind of weirdly contradicted two, two and three, but uh, as it says, you know, always be aware of your black surroundings. It, then they try to compare this, oh my God, I hate this goddess worship of Olivia Pope. I, I hate that, but... um. It just it just just really telling black women no matter how corporate or high your position is they're always looking at you as the black woman and you know last for then first you you last them 
don't know. What is this? Number one says, damn first, you last. Oh, okay. This is the most important, effective way to avoid angry black women is the ridiculous idea of respecting yourself before considering the expectations of others will be your greatest downfall. And so they they left it off with a rhetorical question of um, how how rebellious. Wait, is the angry black woman just a white man? And this is kind of like an interesting thing. I may have to make another video for, but um, uh, these kind of things are kind of like these six ways to stop being angry is kind of like a hit and miss. Um, I probably say I only I only agree with like four, but um. It's pretty interesting. I think it could have been worded a little bit better, but um, yeah, it's it's okay. I think it's a start that at least black women are being aware of their stereotypes and they are trying to fix it, and that's pretty some good effort.